think any of these floating cities will actually get built. Dojin City is a floating city for 40,000 people, and it uses this habitation ring to protect the inner bay from the currents and tsunamis. But the founder is thinking of turning this from a floating city into medical tourism, because it's just not profitable. Pangeos is a turtle-shaped moving city for 60,000 people, and it's estimated to cost $8 billion. And it seems more like a luxury cruise ship than a city. Oceanics is based on these self-sustaining modules that can scale from a small neighborhood to a city of 10,000. Apparently, it can withstand Category 5 hurricanes and tsunamis. Then there's the Maldives floating city, which is made up of an aggregate of individual homes, which have already been tried and tested in the Netherlands. It uses a natural lagoon as a protective barrier. But wait, aren't they predicting that 77% of their landmass is going to be submerged by 2100? Check out the full video right here.